Game on! Greetings and welcome to Empty Cloak Gaming's Hitman Blood Money Let's Play. My name is Cloak. It's been a while since we had one of these, but... Well, we have one now. So, back to pro difficulty. And today, you better watch out. At least you saved the secretary. Yes, and we found and killed one of Mr. 47's accomplices. He wasn't alone. No. They communicated by radio. What bothered us was the autopsy of the second assassin. He was a class two clone. What if they were to find what the classes two? are? Fully functioning human clones, accelerated to adulthood. What's class they one tend then? To die within 18 months of maturity. Is there a class three? Tell me, just how widespread is human cloning? We can't know for sure, but I'm sure we'll see thousands within a few years. Why? Because of your jackalope president. He wants it legalized. Imagine that. The most insidious weapon the world has ever seen. And he wants to legalize it. <laughs> but the public... The public is an ass. Cloning is the ultimate weapon of mass destruction. It's a terrorist wet dream. But most Americans still support cloning, and... Hopefully, this interview will change a few minds. Maybe it'd help if they knew it was 47 that killed Chad Bingham's son. What? We even had our best agent on the spot. We were ready. Good to hear your voice again, 47. We got worried when you didn't get back to us. It was just a little thing requiring my attention. We've got an extremely delicate mission for you, if you're interested. Mm-hmm. Always interested. Just send me the briefing. <laughs> Murder, murder, murder. Hello, 47. Your next assignment's in the Skip Rocky it. Mountains. Senator Bingham is being blackmailed. Same by rule as previous. No upgrading equipment, no bringing weapons. Kill, kill uh, a senator's son, kill a pornographer, and uh, ignore the black shadow of the question mark. But here we go. This chap's kind of to call the elevator for me. Thank you. Wonderful day, isn't it? This is a uh, quite an amusing twist. Kind of like a Playboy Christmas party. Good evening, sir. What do you know about the evening? It's a bloody bad one. Oh, damn. Huh. You weren't supposed to be in there. I'll have to wait for him to leave. Freaking irritant jerk. Yeah, I'm gonna go in there if you like it or not. Dang door. Okay. Gonna need a bit of a syringe here. We're going after Santa Claus. Santa! Santa Claus! Hey, do it, Saint Nick! Where's your beer now that I think about it? Yeah, you know what? If you're Santa, I can play the role probably just as well as you do. Now, you're probably wondering why this uh, poor soul didn't notice me coming to the kitchen when I'm not supposed to be here. Answer, he's drunk. So he'll be happy to sleep it out in this uh, refrigerated dumpster of doom here, the freezer, and it might sober him up a bit. For some reason, the game does not think that's murder. Okay. We're going to prep this hot dog here for later, so we're going to poison it. I'll explain about that when I get there. And we're going to grab a kitchen knife because, you know, fun. And we need this stuff. Very useful stuff. Quite popular. Now our first target is in the hot tub. He's drinking by the hot tub with these girls hanging around him. Someone's trying to pull him to the grotto. Hint, hint. But he's a little reluctant, so a bit of that stuff, and he'll change his mind. And there he is. So he's already uh, on his way to getting killed, just as soon as he has a drink. 
He'll walk this way. Make his way uh, down here. Better clear these two out. And then we'll simply interrupt him, and then we'll have a little bit of a thrill when we throw him off the ledge down there. Or a knife him, whatever comes in handy first. Decisions, decisions. Now, if you saw the intro clip with the loading screen, you'll see that there are three th targets and one of them is in a shadow. See her? She's that question mark displayed in the intro. For this run, we're going to ignore her simply because she's not worth anything. If I were to replay this level, or in fact, even just play the level through and take her out, even if I hid her extremely well, I wouldn't get a set for it. In fact, she might even compromise Silent Assassin, which we are going to attempt to get on this level. Second thing, if I go in there, she'll just stab me. Men are so easy. Shame to waste such a nice hunk of meat. What a girl's gotta do. What a girl's gotta do. And I'd like to keep my reset game over screens for when I actually do something stupid. Have you had your drink yet? I don't see it. Hopefully he sent the waiter for it. Another option is I can go below and just shoot the pool, but eh, don't have a gun. And he's gonna slap her. Waiter is bringing the drink over. It's just a matter of time. Goes for the drink. This isn't really a hard level to play. Part of it is pretty much clockwork. Part of it. There's a few pieces of it which I'm still not exactly worked out in full. But we'll see how those play out. That piece being the guard that patrols down here, this gentleman. I'd have to acquire his suit to go for the uh, second target. And um, I'm a little spotty at grabbing him with the syringe. The other thing to point out is we do have to steal a videotape. And stealing a videotape is a little difficult because you're taking a bit of a gamble of getting caught. Should have had his drink. Ah, here he comes. Oh, don't mind me. Go ahead. Just go on, lovebirds. I am not going to interfere with your relationship. At least not until you're in where I need you to be. Merry Christmas. We're going to wait for the guard to leave. Because I don't want the guard to get in the way. Or get suspicious when I follow my uh, intended victim. Alright, there goes the guard. So we're going to interrupt the uh, makeout session. Oh, yep. Get out of the room. Get... What do you think this is? It's not a brothel. Well, actually, it kind of is a brothel. Alright. Alright. So he's on his way to get killed. He's hurrying along to his death. It's just a question of am I patient enough to... Uh, I could jump him at any point. But if I wait for him to get to the bottom, I can simply throw him off. Come on, you sod. Hurry along to your death. 
Okay. Merry Christmas. Accidental death. Nobody saw anything. And if they do find him, he wasn't murdered. Oh, crap, you showed up early. Alright, well, I gotta get him next. Getting this man's gonna be a little difficult. Don't mess this up. Well, I did mess it up. He didn't see me, though, so I'm gonna have to wait for him to come back. I need his suit so I can go to the next floor. Santa Claus is really good at the bottom floors here, but my next victim is right there on the studio floor. And there are two ways to get to the studio floor. One is to use the um, elevator right here, or the other is to simply climb up the hard way through the back uh, fire escapes. Either way requires you to have a suit that's better than Santa Claus. A guard is the ideal way to do this, I find. And here he comes. So we're going to wait for you to t go in there. Gotcha. Shh, don't worry. You don't have to sleep it out in the dumpster of doom or anything. Come down here. Come on. I need to place you so that no one will likely find you soon. Helps to have you down at the bottom where I threw the corpse off. Well, the now corpse. Then I need your suit. And then I could try to go for the videotape. It would really suck to get up to the top after acquiring your clothing. Just to screw up in getting the videotape. I'll take the gun though. And the clothes. Okay, can anyone see you? No. Okay, we're good. Okay. Would really suck, though, to mess up getting the videotape. I'm gonna get the videotape before I kill the second target. That way, if I do mess up, I can just rush over, blow the second target's brains out, and be out the door. One can hope. Studio. videotape is here on the table this other guy walking around you likely catch me if I just grab it now you wait for him to turn his back and I'll pick it up make an area here got it okay now we can play at the second target the second target is that gentleman who just went in there Notice he's being followed around by the dog. That's what the poisoned hot dog is for. Because for some reason, if you don't kill this dog, little son of a gun will count as a witness when you kill the master. I don't know how the police were going to get him to tell you things, but whatever. And apparently I can poison the dog and not have it count against me. Kill over already, Spot. Jeez. Now, I brought this knife for a reason. This is called, I Hate the Boss. Underpaying jerk. All 
Alright. So now I will just simply return back to the first floor, get my suit, and then get the heck out of here. I didn't exactly dispose of the corpse up on the uh, balcony, but I'm hoping I can get away before anyone goes out there and looks at him. There go grab Santa's costume, just in case. I'm pretty sure I can be in the kitchen area dressed like this, but... Better safe than sorry. So far, it feels like I have actually might have pulled this off pretty well. I wouldn't want to trip over the finish line at the end. That happens quite often. Kitchen? Staff only, I'm staff. Grab my suit back. I had to be careful though, getting past the guard in the hallway. If he's there, I'm likely to get in a little bit of trouble. Time to leave. Get back on the elevator. Here. Cut the corner underneath the camera. Yes, there's a camera at that corner. That's why I cut the corner. Both times. And escape. Oh, let's see. One total kill, one close combat kill, and one accident. Let's see, dog doesn't count. Silent frickin' assassin. Alright, not bad. There you go. That's a silent assassin on pro without any equipment for. You better watch out. The seventh level in the game, I think. And that will leave us to our next level, which is, I believe, something called Death on the Mississippi. As clean as this uh, run for this level was, that run is going to be a mess. So whenever I get around to doing that, I'm already predicting it's going to be a disaster. So until then, I've been Cloak. Thank you for watching.